What is up everyone? We will be starting in just a minute. Welcome Kateri. Welcome Matt. Feel free to say hello. We're going to get ready to start in just one minute. Welcome Jane. Hey, hey Ricardo, what's going on? Chris, what's up? Hey Randy. Hey Mark. Drake, Tom, Logan, Sandra, Marvin, Jamie, what's up? Ross, Jesse, Rick, good to see everybody here. Hey, Brian, good to see you too. Lee, glad to have everybody on the call. Got a great turnout, by the way. Right, guys, we'll take another 10 seconds, 30 seconds or so as people keep filing in. We are recording the webinar. Hey, Kyle, Bruce, Marcus, what's up? Alby, Naomi. Got a good crew in here. Awesome. All right, let's 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 start with a little housekeeping. Can everybody see my screen right now? And can everybody hear me? Just give me a yes. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Jim, Randy, Tom. Thank you, everybody. All right, guys. I'm Jeremy, and uh, if a lot of you are, are probably my customers. If not, if you're new, um, I'm going to be presenting this webinar along with Matt Schmidt, and we are going to talk about uh, the blueprint to outsourcing an entire t-shirt business and um, Matt has taken this concept to the extreme if you've ever done shirts or if you plan to uh, this is going to be very valuable training all right guys we have a packed house so if you leave I cannot guarantee you'll get back in there's about 2,500 people registered for this webinar All right, so obviously tonight we're going to cover the six-step outsourcing blueprint that was used to go from zero to over 65,000 in 40 days, and that's what we're going to cover. Um, if everybody knows the t-shirt business, um, it can be a grind uh, if you try and scale it. Here's how you know if you're in the right place. Um, if you're selling shirts on Teespring or any other platform, and you're looking to outsource the entire operation and scale your business without working so hard. If you've tried selling shirts in the past and you got frustrated and overwhelmed, or if you've ever wanted to outsource and have a team running your t-shirt business for you, but you need some clear direction on how to, how to do it without wasting too much time, money, or energy. So uh, if you're here for something completely different, um, then then this probably isn't the webinar for you. So everybody who registered, I think, is here for one of those three reasons. Um, so glad to have you. Here's our agenda for tonight, okay? Uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to cover the the steps to outsourcing a tea business. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some great content. Um, first, we're going to share our stories because that's really important. A lot of you know the stories. Uh, my story, if you're my customer, I promise not to bore you. Uh, it's going to be related to the outsourcing, so it's going to be um, give you some insight and then Matt as well. Uh, we're going to cover the, benef the benefits of outsourcing a t-shirt operation and, and really any online business in general. Uh, Matt's going to speak on his case study, The 40 Days of Outsourcing, um, which is just an amazing story of um, Matt literally um, not not doing a thing, just kind of monitoring, and his team uh, building basically a sixty-five thousand uh, dollar revenue stream in about a month. And then we're going to cover the six-step outsourcing blueprint for those of you who want to learn how to outsource your own tea business. Uh, and then we're going to discuss how you can outsource and scale your operation too, how you can expedite that process, and then we'll take some questions. All right, a quick, very unscientific poll. Just put it in the chat box for me. Just give me a one if you have experience selling T-shirts online using Facebook and you want to learn how to outsource the entire process. And just give me a two if you're completely new to selling T-shirts online and you want to learn how to outsource the process. 
Okay. Wow, we got a decent amount of twos in here. Wow. We got a good mix of people. Awesome. Okay, so we have a group of big group of people who are new to this, and we have a big group of people who have done this before. Okay. I'd say it's uh, pretty evenly split. And if, for those of you, you've obviously read that my blog post, the Teespring model, the T-shirt model, is as simple as basically coming up with a design, putting it on a shirt, and running ads to an audience on Facebook that it'll appeal to. Um, the hard part is once you start doing it, making money is is managing it all and scaling it. So if you if you're new to this, um, it's not hard to get started, um, but you're gonna want to learn how to outsource. That's the good part. Um, <laughs> and I know it's outsourcing seems scary, um, and I can relate to it because um, I have trouble letting go of, of things in my business, and uh, I just feel like you know you always feel like people can't do things as good as you can. Uh, and then I see a story, and I, I talk to a guy like Matt, who's outsourced his entire operation, um, you know, gets to bed early, wakes up, his team's done all the work for him, launching 25, 30 campaigns a day or more, um, and it just makes me realize, you know, that you've got to outsource. Uh, as scary as it seems, that's the only way you're going to grow your business. And uh, any anybody in here who's in business, um, I think, understands that concept. Everybody got sound? I got I got Bruce saying there's no sound. Cool. All right. Loud and clear. All right, here's my promise. Uh, I always like to have a guarantee on my webinars. By the end of the webinar, you're going to have the exact blueprint on how to outsource an entire t-shirt operation that you can start implementing as soon as possible. Uh, and it's going to be the exact blueprint. Matt's on the call. Used by Matt. Uh, that had his team sell $65,567.31 worth of shirts in 40 days. And by the way, um, that number is closer to 80000 now, um, but it's been about, I think, 50 days now. But anyways, for the purposes of this call, um, that's what we're going to be talking about. And it's all without him having to create or launch any ads himself. That's the great part. Uh, he trained his team to do it all, um, which leads to my next point. It can be used, the blueprint can be used by a newbie who's looking to learn how to outsource certain tasks for their business. Uh, that's important because the concepts you're going to learn can be used to outsource a lot of things. Um, doesn't have to just be the whole t-shirt process, but that's what we're going over. But you can use it to outsource part of that process or other things as well. And it can be used by someone who has a decent level of experience and wants to create a team to help them grow and automate their business. And also can be used by an advanced marketer, which Matt is a great example of. And there's a lot of guys out there doing big numbers. I mean, five, six figures a month selling T-shirts. Um, and and it's basically can be used by an advanced marketer who wants to free up their time, who wants to skyrocket their productivity and just scale their business uh, many times to levels that they thought were unattainable because they were doing everything themselves. All right, who's excited to get started? Just I like to be interactive on my webinars. Just give me a heck yeah in the chat box. Awesome. Mike said, heck, Rob said, damn. Um, we got some Austin 316. Very interesting responses. We've got a wide range of people in here tonight. All right, let's get moving. All right, here's my story. And every time I get on a webinar, I evolve my story a little bit as I get more comfortable. Um, because my story is just, I don't know if it's, um, it follows the model or not, okay? But let's just, this is important to know. If you know me and you're a customer, you know parts of this, but it's important to understand how I got to this point. This picture on the left here is me after graduating college. Um, I got my undergrad and my master's degree and, uh, you know, followed the traditional path. Uh, you know, go to school, graduate, go to college. You get a good job in the corporate world, which is this middle picture. Um, this is, you know, the, the cubicle. This is the corporate world. And uh, I had a, I had a couple good jobs. One of them was kind of a uh, dead end sales job, and then I had a really good job as an analyst for a healthcare firm. But as anybody here that works a day job or a desk job or a cubicle job knows, um, 
you know, you always want more. You want to do something different. And uh, this picture on the right, um, I really don't know what this is from, but it, I think it's from a wedding where I was just having too much fun. But this is kind of what I felt like in my job. I just, this is, I was like, I, I might as, this was a good picture. I was like, I might as well just be sweeping, and because I felt like my my job had no, um, no meaning. It wasn't fulfilling. I just, it wasn't fun for me. So in 2011, I actually left the corporate world, and I started my own digital marketing agency. And by the way, I studied um, for like four years um, all about internet marketing and digital marketing and how to help businesses. Um, and that helped me secure clients from a bunch of different industries. And I say here like roofers, attorneys, uh, and even some million-dollar uh, corporations, uh, packaging companies. And uh, that led to 2013 when I began focusing more on creating an online business. And the reason being is that I realized all the cool things I was doing in my business, other people wanted to learn. So, um, you know, I kind of started focusing on that. And that led to me learning about the t-shirt selling craze. Uh, you know, I mean, the t-shirt thing isn't new. I mean, it's been about, I mean, it's at, least, at least two years. That just goes to show you that it's a, it's a, it's a model that has stayed the course fairly consistently. Um, and I started focusing on it, and and in doing so, I became I was already good at Facebook ads, but I became an expert at Facebook ads. I became really good, um, and just uh, basically I had to to get the results I wanted, um, and it generated uh, Teespring for me, the T-shirt model, about half a million dollars in sales within about eight months. So it was pretty uh, amazing, to say the least, at how powerful the t-shirt model plus combined with Facebook was um, and then that allowed me to create my own courses my own training courses teaching others my strategies whether it be for selling shirts for targeting on Facebook and some of you may have seen my courses um, from the profit club to broad targeting formula to effortless T formula um, and regardless of which one um, uh, the good thing is that my customers uh, have seven figures in results, uh, meaning that their businesses have um, taken off many as a direct result of my trainings, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I can't, I can't stop on the good. There is some bad. Uh, as competition ramped up in the, in the shirt world, I had to work longer and harder. Okay. It became a grind, um, you know, trying to put up, you know, 10 campaigns a day and manage the ads and get shirts designed, and it was a pain. And many, if a lot of you who do shirts, you can probably, you're probably just nodding your heads right now. And I realized I could only generate, um, I could only generate so much revenue on my own. That's basically what it boiled down to. And I just, I became frustrated. And I pretty much just, I just let it go. I mean, I stopped focusing on that part of my business. Um, I still helped others, and I still did it from time to time. But what was once uh, a big piece of my day, I just stopped focusing on. And that leads uh, to uh, the other person on the call tonight, which is Matt Schmidt, because Matt had a uh, – my story kind of ended uh, there up until me and Matt talked. So um, I just got frustrated and stopped doing it. And Matt has a similar story, except he took a different path. Um, and I am going to, uh, to turn it over to Matt. Just give me one sec. And, uh, and Matt – Will um, one sec. Let me give Matt my screen, and then Matt will share his story and go over the blueprint with you guys. All right, Matt, you should have control. Hello, hello. Everybody, Can give a warm me? welcome to Matt. There we go. Everybody see my screen? Everybody hear me? Oh, man, look at that response. Loving this crowd tonight. Well, thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate the, the time and being on the call. Let me go ahead and increase my presentation here. Actually. Guys, can you confirm if you're seeing – Matt, you have control of the screen? Yep. Hold on just one second. 
So I feel like I still have control. No, I think I got it, right? Okay. Yeah, Max, you know. have to be control. I got too many monitors here. It's sharing the wrong screen. Hold on one second. There we go. Can you see the presentation? All right, guys, just give a yes if you can see Matt's screen. All right, all right, everybody. Looks like everybody can see it. Well, thank you again for uh, taking the time and everybody joining the call tonight. I'm excited to tell you about what I've been doing over the last, uh, what is it now, 50 days or so. And uh, it's really exciting. So I want to tell you a little bit about my story. And Jeremy shared uh, his, and it's it's very similar. So I jumped into the T-shirt model about a little over a year uh, or and a half ago, I would say. Um, and you know, I've been doing the internet marketing for a couple years, uh, for about four or five years now. And uh, you know, I was in the Google AdWords. I was doing a bunch of different stuff. Then I came over to Facebook. Um, and then right around the time that uh, everybody started doing these t-shirts. So I jumped in. I had some very early on success. Um, but, you know, I've always continued to work my full-time job. Uh, unlike Jeremy, I think uh, it sounded like you didn't like it too much. Um, but I do uh, like the day job that I'm in, so I've continued working on it. Uh, so I did hit a wall, though. I, I have eventually I've worked, you know, to scale the business to the point where I'm launching so many campaigns per day, I'm trying to keep everything organized, I'm trying to do it all myself, I did hit a wall. And, it, it, and you know, the people that are out there can attest to this, that have been selling t-shirts, it's exhausting sometimes. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of research, it's a lot of looking at numbers, um, and it's a lot of manual stuff that, you know, it's almost like, why can't I just take this and hand it off to somebody else? Um, why can't I just do it and focus on the part that I want to focus on? And so that's what I decided to do. So I decided to outsource and build a team uh, that I knew that I could scale up the business and go from there. Um, you know, I, I, I always kid with my wife, even though it's not really a joke. I don't remember really the last time, you know, re rewind the clock about 50 days ago, I would have said, I don't remember the last time I went to bed before midnight. Or I don't remember the last time I went to bed before 1 o'clock in the morning. And that's because I was always coming home from work, hanging out with my wife, uh, and then going to work. And then you just you put in more time, more hours. I mean, I and give me a heck yeah, just like Jeremy gave. If that's kind of like what you're doing in this game as well, because that it's every internet marketer I talk to uh, that's still working a day job, we're chasing that dream at 4 a.m. Everybody, you know, people are uh, people are in the same exact spot that I am in, and. That's why I was at the point, I was like, screw it, I'm going to almost take time off. I stopped launching shirts, I stopped uh, you know, doing everything as far as that was going. I was having so much success, I was like, I'm tired of it, I'm going to focus on building a business. Because that's where I knew long term, I could eventually you know, make more money. And, and, and then not only money, but peace of mind, which... You know, to be honest with you, and you know, my freedom and my in my time is honestly almost more valuable than the money itself. And so that's what I wanted to do. So let's cover a couple benefits of outsourcing. You know, 20 campaigns. You know, you see number one there. 20 campaigns just to launch that in itself is a lot of time. So I got my scale to about 20 to 30 campaigns per day, depending on the designs we got coming in. I get to pick and choose. Uh, which tasks I want to hand off. And that's really the benefit if, if you go down this road of outsourcing, you get to choose which tasks you want to hand off, which ones you want to keep. My efficiency is through the roof. Uh, you know, I took a trip out to Vegas not too long ago, uh, and that would have completely halted my business, right? If that was just me still doing it, then what, who would have been launching campaigns while I'm on a plane out to Vegas? So this almost runs like a machine because my team is very dedicated, they're very motivated, and they're moving constantly in the background. Pursue new objects, or new projects. Doing this course and in this, in this presentation and this, in this, in taking this course of trying to show people what I'm doing here uh, could never have been done without you know, me sacrificing the t-shirt business before. I, you know, to do both things at one time would have been impossible. So I only had so much time before, but now I get to pursue whatever new project I want. 
And really, the, the the coolest part of this uh, this whole thing, almost you know, five and number six, is unlimited growth potential. You know, when you're outsourcing, uh, you can be just like a true business. You can you know grow and you know continue to almost duplicate your team over and over and over again. And you can train more and more people to scale your business. It doesn't have to be you putting more and more time into it. So. You know, and the last one, uh, a true lifestyle business, more free time, money being made for me around the clock, and it's less stress. I can't tell you, and I almost want to ask for a heck yeah. I mean, if this number six was for you, more free time alone is more valuable than anything. It's more valuable than money because your free time, there's only so much time on this planet, and you can't spend it, you know, just working your entire life, and especially if you're working a day job, if you're going to try to take on something else, now you got no free time. And I've been there before. It sounds like Jeremy's been there before. And so, you know, that that's not what we want to do. We want to live a good lifestyle. Uh, and so when I started to figure out, uh, you know, I'm going to start piecing together what it takes to have a successful t-shirt business, I, you know, started analyzing my own day-to-day -day activities. Um, and I started saying, all right, this goes here to one person, this goes here to another person, this goes here with another person. And I started kind of piecing everything together, and then I outsourced it. I went through the process of hiring people. And I got to tell you, I went through some ups and downs on getting like a designer. You know if you have a t-shirt business, you got to have a designer. And I can't tell you how many designers I went through because I didn't know what questions to ask. But I figured that out. And let me show you a little bit about what happened. So you can see this is November 1st. That was a crucial start date for my team. And between November 1st and December 11th, you can see how many open campaigns I had, how many sales I had, and then that's the, that's the revenue in the green there for anybody that's unfamiliar with this, uh, with this platform here. So you can see that in 40 days, we generated $65,567.31. And this was all hands off for me, except for guiding my team in the right direction. And, and that's the coolest part. And it, it, was, it was amazing. Um, was it my biggest month? No, but I gotta tell you this, plus free time, it's been my best month. It's been hands off, or 40 days even. It's been my best 40 days because this was going in the background and I really didn't have to do too much. And there's certain goals and certain things that factor into this. Now we're at a pace that's much faster. Uh, as Jeremy hit in that earlier, we're up to uh, uh, 77, just over $77,000 in revenue. Um, and we're, we're the ROI and the profit on that is very strong. I haven't run out recently. But, uh, you know, it's been great. So I just want to make sure, real quick, uh, can everybody see the 40-day the case study? Give me a yes in the, in the chat box. Okay, so if you're, I'm getting a lot of yeses. So if your screen is uh, frozen, I don't know, Jeremy, can we have somebody hop off and hop back on? I don't know how, I can't see how full it is right now. We are we are pretty packed. If you're not seeing the screen, though, you can, you can try and you may get back in. Um, but uh, yeah, everybody can see the screen fine, fine. And uh, Matt, I'm glad you you uh said that real quick because I want you just to kind of talk about, real just real quick, like um, you know, just the freedom because that's that's what's the, the coolest thing to me is to do those numbers and not feel like you're at the computer all day. It's just amazing to me based on my experiences with the shirt business. Yeah, uh, you know, just like I said, the freedom of just going to bed at a reasonable hour, you know, and, and going to bed with at the same time as my wife um, has been, I don't want to say life-changing, but like almost liberating in a sense, where I hadn't had that for years. I've been doing this internet marketing game for, like I said, four to five years, and every day during the week was, it was that, and with minor exception. So... You know, that in itself, uh, being able to go on a trip and know that I was making money every day, it has been unbelievable. Um, and it's just, it's been a very eye-opening experience for me because I always thought that being uh, successful meant I had to work harder at the day-to-day -day activity. When I realized that you can be successful 
at guiding and, and teaching and outsourcing and, and instructing and building a business. It's like that, what's that saying? You know, I don't want to work in my business. I want to work on my business. And that's really the crucial difference between what I was doing before and what I was, uh, what I'm doing now. And I, I got to tell you, I'm never going to go back. There's not a, there's not a question in my mind that, uh, I get to work in on and with the things that I want to in my business versus, you know, every time I try to do something, I have to do it myself. So let's go into the six step blueprint to outsourcing your t-shirt operation. Everybody ready for the blueprint? Yeah, I want, hold on, I want everybody to work for it. So everybody just give us a, a heck yeah. If you're stretch a little bit, cause we're about to go into the meat of the content here. Awesome. Okay. People are pumped up, Matt. Um, go ahead, man. All right, man. So we're going to do a little overview first because depending on if you're, uh, you know, if you're an experienced t-shirt seller, if you're brand new, I will want to start and just, maybe it's a refresher for you. Maybe you know it. Um, but we're going to start where we can, uh, we can bring everybody into the loop. So we're going to talk about the resources right off the bat because where there's a lot of questions, uh, on your page, Jeremy, about, you know, where do I even begin to find an outsourcer? And then we're going to talk about your team mapping. This is crucial. You cannot outsource before you start talking about your map. So we're going to talk a lot about that. And then the first crucial step is hiring a designer. Um, and we'll talk more about that. And you notice how it says designers, not designer. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So, and then we're going to go into number three, which is hiring out the simple tasks. Um, there's going to be a lot of these and, uh, you might be like, Oh, I don't need to outsource that. But I got to tell you doing the simple things, letting the simple things go, liberate you for so much more and, and, and to focus really on number four. So where you want to go next, if you want to do number two, number three, number four is the next step. You're going to hire an ads manager or a project manager or both. You know, and then what's the difference? We'll talk about that. And number five is monitoring. You, of course, any successful business in this world, I don't care who you are or what you sell or what you do, you have to know how to monitor the, the operation that you're overseeing. And we'll talk about how you do that. And then six, of course, you, the, no business uh, can't have a uh, expansion plan. So we're going to give yourself and talk about how to set an expansion plan uh, and what are the key indicators in doing so. So resources, uh, and if if, you, if you're unfamiliar with these, jot these down right away. Take some good notes. Um, Odesk, my personal favorite. Um, I have outsourced almost. You know, I have outsourced 100% of what I am doing right now on Odesk. Um, people say that Elance or Online Jobs PH is better. My personal favorite over the last four years has been Odesk. Um, and they have key things that I like uh, that I will talk to in a little bit. Uh, but there are Elance.com, OnlineJobs.ph, 99designs.com for your t-shirt designs. You're going to have somebody that you have to pay a little bit on, I mean, they're more expensive versus other solutions, but it's pretty cool to be able to go on there and have a competition. That's the real difference maker for 99designs versus say like Fiverr or Odesk. You can go have a straight competition and pay the winner and then, you know, see if you can't take that guy elsewhere, you know, off, off 99designs where you don't have to pay him every single time. Fiverr, uh, when you're getting started, and you don't have a set designer is a good resource in the short term. You don't want to be doing that in the long term, though. But you don't have to pay somebody five dollars every time. But they can do a good shirt design. Uh, it's there. You can go to Fiverr.com uh, and literally search T-shirt designer, and plenty of these guys will come up with Teespring in the title. That's because the market is trained there for that, and you can go and utilize that before you get yourself a full on-staff Odesk or uh, any of these other designers. So team mapping, setting your goals. Unless your, your business has a clear outline to what you want to achieve, you will not be able to be successful in outsourcing, in a, in a cost-effective manner at least. And what does that mean? So you've got to know how much money you want to start bringing in in the short term and then the long term. When you, you know, in, stages, um, in the stages of your business. Uh, if you want to see the we'll, – uh, we'll cover the resources again here in a little bit. 
So if you, if you don't have goals established for your business and where you want to go, you're never going to be able to get there. So what is your goal? Do you want to be part of the team or do you want to have the team be self-sufficient like I have it now? Uh, I thought when I started that I wanted to be part of the team, but I realized pretty quickly that I wanted to be self-sufficient. Uh, and there's a clear difference between that. Setting your team targets. These need to be determined before hiring. What, so, you know, before you take that step of offering uh, a contract to somebody on Odesk, you need to know what is that person going to be doing. So how many shirts uh, is your ad sky or your t-shirt launcher or anybody going to be launching per day, per week? And set a goal for your team because per day shirts, like I started with five, five shirts per day. But if you wanted one shirt per day, that can be your goal as well. One per shirt per week, if you really wanted to, could be your goal as well. But I would say something like a handful a week would be a good place to start if you're brand new. Some of you guys out there that have been selling just like I have or, you know, somewhere around it, then, you know, your, your goals are higher. What are you doing right now and what do you want to outsource? So set your team structure. Let's take a look at mine. Here's Matt's team. I get to call myself a CEO because I own the company. <laughs> I get to call myself anything there. So even though there's no board or anything like that, I am the CEO. So I have a project manager. Remember we had a difference between project manager and ads manager. My project manager does my ads, research, and manages my teams. He is unreal. He is a, you know, I, could not be happier with my project manager right now. He is through the roof. I mean, he just, he's almost like he's in my brain. It's, it's kind of crazy because, like, you will see something, you will see a trend, and then we'll almost both message each other at the same time. It's, you know, because that's how trained and how, you know, uh, you know he's fit my, my personality and everything so, so well. So I have a designer A, I have a designer B, and I have a designer B1. What does that mean? We'll cover that in a little bit. And then I have a launcher who launches my t-shirts and my ads. We'll talk more about that again. And then my page manager, somebody that's very much engaging with my audience uh, on, the, on the niche pages that I build and is just kind of there making sure that content is posted. We're always, you know, boosting uh, the audience morale, keeping our pages active and doing everything like that. So that's my current team, but I got to tell you, I didn't have... Uh, let's see, within the last month, I had designer A and B, and I had page manager. I've added designer B1 and launcher in the last 30 days because we've been expanding so quickly. We keep hitting our targets. So it's been, it's been rapid expansion. I mean, obviously, the team didn't even exist two months ago, but at the same time, it was in that last month we've even been expanding, and I actually plan on doing a little bit more expansion here soon. So outsourcing your designs. Outsourcing your designs. This is going to be a big one because a lot of people surprisingly hit our big road a big roadblock in this. Unless you are an artist or a Photoshop expert, you shouldn't be doing your own designs. I want to step in here. Guys, just give me a quick one in the chat box. Who feels like designs is the hardest part of the whole process? Because I hear that a lot. Finding good designs. All right. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Okay, continue, Matt. I just wanted to confirm that with this group. Cause, we I got mean, a lot of runs from that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I mean... Even if you're an artist, even if you're the best artist in the world, you need to decide what you want to do. Are you in this business to design shirts or are you in this business to make money? Because I can tell you, if you outsource this whole thing, then you can do your artist things on the side. But most of us on this call are... Uh, are not artists or Photoshop experts. Even if you are a designer, then you can even have a leg up on people when you're going to look for a designer because you know what to look for. So think of it that way. Just remember, what do you want to do? If you are a designer or if you aren't a designer, you should not be doing your own designs. 
not even if it's text. So no matter how good your targeting is, if your design isn't good, no one will buy it. I've had shirts that have a 20% click-through rate because it's probably because my shirt was bad, but it was just a badly done design. And even if it's bad, you're not going to get anybody to buy it. I mean, even if the click-through rate is good, you're not going to get anybody to buy that bad design. So it's crucial for you to uh, have a great designer, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about here. And most people in this business will hire one designer and they'll be done with it. I'm going to prove to you why that's the wrong approach in the next couple of slides. Would you rather, we're going to play the would you rather here, pay a cheap designer $5, like say off of Fiverr or something or just on any Odesk or anything, $5 per hour for one bad design or pay a great designer $20 per hour who can get you four great designs in one hour. Now think about that. We're not creating pieces of art. Once, uh, you know, and, and speak to uh, any design people out there, a great designer, when you're not giving them something very complicated, I'm talking about a great designer because that's what we're going to be going for when I'm going to show you to go for. They can do, you know, something that's not overly complicated way faster than somebody that is not, you're not paying for that. You know, you're not paying them a whole lot of money. You will get what you pay for with a designer. So pay them good amount of money per hour, and then you'll get four great designs per hour or three great. Even if it's two, you're still getting a better deal than if you went for the cheap dollar per hour designer and you get back a cheap design. You will get what you pay for, like I said. So what do you want to do? If you're going to get what you pay for, what do you want to do? I want you, this is the way I did it, to hire an A-team designer. The A-team designer is just going to be a little bit more versatile than the B-team designer. I'm not saying that one's good, one's bad. I'm saying because I don't want you to get a bad designer. I want you to get a high-paid, high-skilled designer as your A-team designer. Versatility, like I said, is important because at the, at the beginning of it, you don't want to get slowed down when you're just starting when you're just doing the five shirts per uh, per week or five shirts per day even you don't want to be slowed down so you need your designer to be skilled and quick and also uh, you know very creative so you're very versatile and then you want to hire your B team designer down the road and we'll talk about where that fits into the model but as you saw I had two B team designers too so we'll talk about that too but they're medium paid and medium skilled. They're not cheap. Do not hire a cheap designer. So you want to go ahead and get somebody that can be focused on scalable designs, maybe text-based. If you've seen, if you're in the t-shirt business, you know that a text-based design is not all that hard. So all you need them to do is have creative font and good coloring, you know, and match and know the niches. And then you can have several designs done within that hour on somebody that is not needing to do complicated work. Outsourcing the simple tasks. Let me go back to this real quick, though. When you're doing this and you're getting to a point when you have an A and a B, guess where all of your scalable designs get focused? Your B team. And your A team designer will only get the complicated ones, right? So it's not like you're paying that expensive person full time or even as much as they were anymore. And that's okay because you're giving them complicated designs that they can focus on for an hour or so or you know and, and whatever it is per week but they're not overloaded you know you're not spending a lot of money per hour for something that your B team lesser paid can do and that's 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 how you have an effective team of designers where you're not overpaying for designs and you're still keeping your costs under control all right so outsourcing the simple tasks. So once you have a good designer and you're ready to go, you're going to now immediately jump into what I call the simple task, outsourcing the simple task. This is going to be key in focusing your energy on the right area, which is your ads management and your uh, 
and anything that's really focused in the ROI and your niche research and your uh, design research to send to the designer and then your ads and, and scaling and killing. So let's go ahead and talk about outsourcing the simple task. Eliminate what is repetitive and doesn't affect ROI. So what is this? I mean, let's uh, the guys that are selling T-shirts out here. What is super repetitive and has no effect on your ROI whatsoever? Enter it in the comment box. Campaign creation, absolutely. I got one. What about putting your shirts on the T-shirt site, like Teespring? Yep. That's Launching, good. liking comments, determining ROI each day. Well, Mark, that's a little bit more advanced, but. Uh, Somebody's asking what ROI is. Um, ROI is return on investment. So your ad spend per day, if uh, you're make, you're spending one dollar to make two dollars, you have a one dollar return on investment. Yeah. So making ad images, posting to Facebook, uh, you know, and and creating your shirts. You can't tell me that you can't spend. 10 minutes with somebody to tell them how to launch a shirt. You know, it's, you know, put the design in the middle, uh, set it to this profit margin, and then go from there. These are the colors. It's easy. So I got a couple examples here. Page manager, t-shirt launcher, ad creator. Ad creator as an ad image creator, I should have said there. But even your ad, we'll talk about how you outsource that here. But in the simple task outsourcing, what we're going to be doing is talking about the simple stuff. Page manager, remember I had a page manager. She engages with the audience, she comments, she likes, she posts content to the page. Uh, T-shirt launcher, and the guy that goes in every day and launches the new designs that he got from the designer the previous day, and he gets them ready for my project manager. Ad image creator is just a guy that knows how to do Photoshop images, right? So let's go to the next page. This is not a high paying position due to its repetitive nature. You know, you can get somebody off the street to almost do this. I don't want to say that and disregard people who do this for me, but it really at the end of the day, the crucial factor of it is repetitive and so therefore can be done by anybody that comes in and comes out. All you need is a Photoshop expert, somebody that speaks English, uh, and communicating in English, if, if that's the language you're going for, is crucial for these positions because normally the t-shirt game is sold in uh, the United States. Therefore, we got to make sure that uh, the people that we're communicating with understand you. The goal is to free up your time for you to do the focus, you know, you, for you to do for you to focus, I'm sorry, I couldn't read there. But the goal is for you to free up your time to focus on team building and the pieces that involve ads, ROI, the important stuff, the really important stuff. So you've now segmented on going back to that tree. Let's go back to that tree, actually. So let's go back to that tree. So we've now talked about outsourcing a designer. We talked about both outsourcing two designers. And we've got a page manager and a launcher. So right now in the picture, I am right here, right? I'm coordinating with a, the you know, designer A, designer B, the launcher, and the page manager. All these things are being handled by me. So the next step in that equation is to take this chunk out of my life. So when you want to move to the next level, you want to be the CEO of your business, just overseeing your team and making sure that everybody is coordinating as an effective team then that's where we want to go for the next one here. So let's go back. So outsourcing your ads manager. Now we're not talking about project manager, we're talking about ads manager. So in the next slide here, we're going to talk about hiring somebody with prior Facebook ads experience. And the people that I've talked to before this they're always like, oh, we got some guy off of Odesk and he didn't have anything to do with Facebook ads and you know, we didn't know where to go from there and it took forever and then it didn't work. Why would you not input Facebook ads experience into your qualifications for your job? And, and you know, only interview people who have Facebook ads experience. I gotta tell you, it's like when the computer came out, this is what I thought. I have a, you know, I was a first class at, I went to Mizzou in, in Missouri. I was the first class 
to uh, take IT, information technology, as a course at Mizzou. That's how brand new it was. Now, you go to any college, there's plenty of people who have IT degrees. What, what happened there is that that industry has exploded to a point where more and more people are needed. Well, guess what? Facebook's ads you know, and their platform is so robust and used by so many people that that market is being trained for you, and you can go and pick one of those people out. You're not having to train anybody from scratch anymore. So if you're an experienced seller, if you have a little bit of experience or a lot of experience, you can create a video of your targeting process. Get yourself uh, Camtasia. Uh, Jeremy, help me out. What's the other uh, screen capture softwares out there? I but, use Screencast-O-Matic, and, and uh, there's there's tons of them. There's tons of them. Yeah, ScreenFlow, ScreenFlow for Mac. Thank you very much, people out there with the Mac. Get yourself a video of your targeting process because you know what? You don't want to point them to, you know, it's easy to, and I, I tried this, trust me. Uh, pointing them to another video and saying, here's a course I just bought. You learn this course, and then you'll be good to go. Why is that the wrong move? Because you need, if you're going to have somebody working for you, they need to know your mind process. You're, you're the way you think, not the way you know somebody else thinks. So what we're going to be doing is talking about how to get somebody on your mindset. Because when you go to a corporation, they don't just send you to some training video. I mean, they could. That might be some, like, uh, check the HR box, and then they got that checked to the training video. But ultimately, it's going to be the guy you're replacing or your boss coming in here or some guy you shadow learning your, their pro – you're going to be learning their process. And that's what you got to effectively think here. you got to think about – how I can have this guy shadow me, even though he's virtual. So setting up your processes, taking a little bit of time, spending time with them, making sure that they're on the same page with you is what you need to do. And then, you know, very much important thing for you to do is a daily money in, money out report. It can even be that simple. It can be just saying, this is how I spent on campaign X. This is what came out for the day and this is what the total gross profit is. So those are things that they do daily, and they help you stay focused on saying, yes, keep that one, no, kill that one, and go from there. So this person, uh, is, this is basically you starting out. So anybody that's, you know, and, and trust me, if you're brand new at this too, you can guys, you guys can ride this wave together, and that's e just as easy. And I know a guy that's doing it. That it's just as easy to ride the wave together of trying to learn this, than it is to, uh, you know, if you're someone trying to train somebody. Because the 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 way that I started in the t-shirt business, you know, to rewind the clock and talk about my story a little bit, is that I had my buddy Chase and I talking on a day-to-day -day basis about what we were doing here, how we were doing this, uh, and making sure that we can get on the same page with each other, and we both started selling t-shirts quite a bit. But, you know, you got to spend time with them to make sure that you're critiquing their ads, you're scaling your ads, which means increasing your ad spend together, um, you know, make sure that they understand the steps that you're doing, and hold their hand each step of the way. Slowly back up and give them more responsibility. And, you know, start in their face. Start right up in there and say, "Every day we're going to be talking. Spend time with them." You know, instead of you know, if you if you got if you got to drop everything, what you're doing at night, and to to work on your outsourcing team. Remember how I said that I did that for like uh, almost a month. I was just like, "I'm going to outsource. I got to do it." A lot of the, the the unfortunate thing for me was that nobody told me how to do it. So I spent all this trial and error time trying to get myself a team built together. And once I finally figured out how to do it, it was like, all right, this piece, this piece, this piece, we're going. Everybody's doing it. So I started allowing myself to focus on that versus T-shirt selling. And then my team immediately got built. We got growth. And, you know, and the results speak for themselves. You are investing in them and trusting them with your money. So do not do this at the beginning as a hands-off thing. You need to focus on them.
you need to give them the time of day and you need to make sure that they are on the same page on in their mind and the mindset as you are outsourcing the project manager going back to that team my team we're talking about project manager now this is what I've done because I'm as about as hands-off as you can get as I remember I have an awesome project manager so let's go in same initial steps as the ads manager so you're gonna do basically the same thing this person is literally replacing you I mean is that let's, let's talk about I remember that photo that Jeremy had up earlier it's really scary right it's scary to have somebody replace you in, in your business because you, you work so hard in this right is anybody is that kind of a terrifying concept to anybody out there give me a yes in the in the chat box I like how the first one was no <laughs> we got a lot of yeses though it takes huge trust exactly TJ no who has it said no TJ <clears throat> TJ said no <laughs> that is a good answer yeah, I mean it was the first one out of the gate too so that, that was pretty awesome but we got a plenty of people here that say yes because it is it's an unbelievable amount of release it's a you know doing this stuff and you own this stuff and you're, you're trying to you're trying to build something here right I mean you're trying to really let's talk about that for a little bit this is your this is almost like your your this is your pet project or your full-time job or this is you're relying on this or you're using it to do something or go to the next level so this is a lot of responsibility that you've put on yourself and to take that off of your shoulders is for most people kind of terrifying let's be honest but I got to tell you it's key for you to do you need to do this to really scale your business it's not a business if it relies on you it's you I mean I should say a hundred percent you it's not a business if it's doing you because a business doesn't stop once you stop like I can not go into work tomorrow and the business is just perfectly fine you know my nine to five and a lot of people that you know do this you know they got you know are working you can go into your job tomorrow and it's fine or you can not go into your job tomorrow and it's fine so we want to make sure that you're running a business and this is what the this is a key step in it project manager will get you to a point where you can be hands-off and take on another venture or do something else so your team once the project manager is hired your team should be instructed to treat your PM as they are you they are you really because they're replacing you right so you're gonna give them you know this is gonna be yes sir no sir not not necessarily that formal but it's almost gonna be like that so the critical differences between project manager and ads manager project manager is also gonna handle the niche research and shirt research so you're gonna teach them how to do that as well they will be doing uh, scalable design so you're gonna keep them that you keep making sure that they have that concept in their mind where I can take this shirt you know it hinges on this one phrase and now I'm gonna replicate that over here and here and here and here they need to have great communication skills because your team is going to be listening to them at each step of the way uh, I've been blown away by the communication skills of my project manager I can't say enough good things about the guy but it was really like my hard work and my looking and over and over and over again and I really learned what I needed and I went out and found this guy and now he's blown me out of the water it's funny how just the mindset of like who you're gonna interview uh, versus like I'm not gonna say yes to this guy I'm not gonna say yes to this guy and then you finally say enough no's and then a yes comes along so uh, they are going to be communicating with your designer on concepts and shirts to be designed on your project manager um, I'm sorry on your ads manager if you hired to that level as well on your launcher on your page manager and so on and so forth so monitoring team progress and we're getting a lot of questions about running off with your business uh, and we'll talk about that too identifying gaps when you're monitoring your business you gotta identify a gap causing your team not to perform when a gap means it is just like is it that the designer is uh, the designer is not doing well um, you know the designs are coming through on time what is it that's causing your team not to perform or communicate and you got to figure that out and then address that 
Use applications that allow you to monitor your team's work in progress. Uh, going back to ODesk, the reason that I like them so much, and Elance might have this or somebody else, but the reason that I like ODesk is so awesome is that uh, it has a software that you can make your outsourcer download that they cannot work, or I should say they can't get paid. Uh, they have to log into the software, and then it records their screen. And, make, and as long as they're working for you, it takes snapshots of it. So you can go in there and make sure that they're working on your stuff when they're telling you they're working on your stuff. And I can't tell you when I was doing this early on, I found two designers who were not doing my designs and they were logged in under my, uh, under my account. And they were, I was paying them to do somebody else's designs. And we don't like that, right? So I found some really good ways of preventing that going forward, how to address it. Uh, and and then it was easy to not have that. Now I couldn't trust my designers anymore. So you correct your team's mistakes, but you allow them the chance to learn. This is just like a day-to-day -day business, and that's what we're trying to achieve, right? Is a day-to-day -day business. So you're uh, you're going to allow them to make mistakes, not just like oh, go ahead and make a mistake, but if they make it, have an understanding that they are learning. But you address it. You tell them, this is what you did wrong, this is what you need to do going forward. And if your goals that we originally set up are not met in the time frame that you predetermined, I'm sorry, we got to let you go. We're going to step back and we're going to repeat the hiring process. Remember, I told you I went through several designers before I found my good A-team designer. I went through several designers before I found my first B-team designer. But i got to tell you, once I learned all that, hiring my second B-team designer was easy. It was almost instantaneous. You know, I post this, I post that, I post this, I have this question, this interview question, and then boom, right away. Got the great designer. And then team expansion, of course, you want to expand. All businesses want to expand. What are you, in, if it's not the money, obviously, but you get more money by expanding your team. So you got to get to that level. And I got to tell you, you only get here if you're going to do the correct monitoring, if you're going to do the correct hiring, all those steps, this is the reason this is step number six. When your goals are met over the short term, consider expansion. Can you do it financially? Do you have enough cap uh, capital to do so? Can you expand your team? The first thing that I do is I hire another B-team designer. Remember how I told you I got another B-team designer. So the reason for that was that I need more shirts launched per day. I spoke with my project manager, said, can you handle more per day? Can you do more? And he said, yeah, I can do more. So we went from five shirts to 10 shirts per day. We went from 10 shirts to 15 shirts per day. And we start incrementally going up, up, and up. And so that's only achievable because you're going to overload the designer before you're going to overload the project manager. So you need to get another designer so you can split up maybe five 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 or you know a team designer gets ten you know B team guys get five each or whatever it is you do you know whatever your mix is that's the kind of stuff that you want to do and then you hire an ads manager or additional this is my actually underway for me going on right now we are hiring another ads manager to assist my project manager so I'm gonna have two people doing uh, ads at the same time because my project manager is handling so many ads per day. We have 80, 82 ads, or I'm sorry, 82 campaigns live right now. That means he's monitoring 82 ad sets in Facebook. That is a lot for anybody to handle. I got to give him credit. I don't think I could handle that. So he's going in there and doing that and doing that every day. I want to alleviate the small stuff. And then you hire, you know, give him the more expensive campaigns, the more the bigger campaigns, blah blah blah. And then, so in order to uh, make sure that your team is happy, you're going to promote the original ads manager if that was, uh, you know, something that you did first instead of a project manager. You're going to promote him to a project manager because he's now going to have an ads manager on his team. 
and you're going to, uh, if you have a project manager, uh, you're going to increase his pay because that's what I recommend because you are increasing his workload and you want to keep him happy. And I talk a little bit about here, uh, expanding your team, your productivity will increase, increase the workload on your project manager and your designers. Keep them motivated and happy by making sure that you uh, increase their pay, give them bonuses. Um, tell, you know, I, I can't tell you how far just telling them they're doing a good job goes. So it, it, it's really cool uh, and it's really exciting um, to be expanding your team. And so they're excited with you. I want you to make sure that they're happy along the way. Um, by making sure that they're getting what they deserve for their hard work. Expand your team communication network appropriately. Continue tracking progress. What do I mean by that? If you hire, uh, a, hire another designer, you have a direct line of communication that you can have with the designer and the project manager. That means uh, basically having them have a Skype chat, a Facebook chat, whatever you want to do, um, that's basically the way that I make sure that they're communicating with each other. Designers don't need to create uh, to communicate with each other. If you have one big chat with all your designers in the same room, they'll get confused on who's doing what. So you just make one Skype chat or one Facebook chat on uh, for team designer A, B, B1, and so on and so forth. Your project manager should handle. I'm sorry, project manager should handle each line of communication. Um, and only communicate with the appropriate people. And continue to track their progress. Our goals mean met. That's still going to be your job. I still, you know, check in to see, am I getting the right revenue per day, the right profit per day? Are we getting the right amount of designs up? And, uh, and that's really it. So I think this is next to you, Jeremy. All right, guys. I'm going to take over the screen real quick. We're hitting the top of the hour, and uh... – can everybody see? Let me just make sure. Can everybody see my screen? Okay, cool. Did everybody like that? Was that great? Can you give me a yes? Awesome, awesome, guys. And I want to I want to point something out here. Um, and before I get to this point right here, um, let's be honest. I mean, outsourcing is not the sexiest topic to talk about, right? And what's what's amazing though is you know you can talk all day about uh, you know how to sell shirts and how to do this and how to run Facebook ads, but the biggest impact on your business is actually what matches is covered. Um, I, again, it's not like the most fun thing to talk about, the most exciting tactic, push button software, but Matt literally set up an operation that runs on runs itself. Okay, runs you know he's done almost eighty thousand dollars in a, fifty days. And he hasn't had to touch it himself. And to me, that's more exciting than any software or anything like that. Um, it's what he just broke down in his process. And he just said it took, didn't take him that long to set up, and he has it down to a science. Um, and ba so basically what it boils down to is this. Um, you know, again, is what sounds more appealing, okay? Is it doing everything yourself? running all your pages yourself, launching all your search yourself, managing all the ads yourself, working long hours, always being limited by your own output, <clears throat> or is it what Matt just discussed, building a team, outsourcing your entire t-shirt operation, scaling your business, increasing your free time and improving your productivity. Okay, and I'm, you know, everybody knows the answer. Yeah. Option two. Awesome. As build and expand. I like that. Build and expand. Yeah, give me. Yeah, exactly. So, in a nutshell, what Matt just described in the last few slides was number two. Okay, he just told you that, you know, the output of that is, is that big number, that big sixty-five thousand, that big eighty thousand number. But what he just described is how he got there by building his team and outsourcing the operation. And I think he'll tell you that it's life-changing because his business completely changed. He's spending more time with his family. I know he went to Vegas. He, we talked about it, and his entire operation ran. Um, so to me, that's that's huge, and that's 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 the exciting part of outsourcing. You know, that's that's the sexy part of outsourcing. 
Now, we want to get some common questions out of the way. Uh, we're at the top of the hour. We're going to be done in just a few minutes. But based on um, um, one, one of the things, and me and Matt, we'll we just bounce back really quick back and forth is people say, what if I only want to outsource portions of my T-shirt business? Can I start slow and build from there? And Matt, what do you say to people like that? Oh, I mean, absolutely. And, and the only reason I hit it so hard and so fast was that I had just I set a target for myself, and I said, this, I'm going to figure this out because nobody was really telling you how to do that in this game really right now. So, I mean, your first step is really just getting that designer off your plate, and then you can go from there. And uh, you can definitely start slow. You can hit it uh, like I did uh, and everywhere in between. Okay, yeah, so pretty much you, you can start with just a designer or you can just hire people to run your fan pages. The, the same concepts apply, and then you can grow from there. So if you just want to outsource portions of your business, I promise you it will make your life easier. And actually what I'm, what I'm telling you, I'm actually taking to heart. I've actually in the past week um, began um, hiring for content for some of my various businesses, hiring for content, also hiring uh, for a Facebook ads manager for some various projects because I know that I will appreciate it when I can sit back knowing that somebody's doing it all for me. Um, but I'm starting slow as well. Um, Matt jumped in and he just showed you his entire operation. The next question we get a lot is, will outsourcing cost me a lot of money? And Matt can answer that as well. And I was amazed when Matt told me the amount of money that he spent to generate that revenue or what he had to pay. I was like, wow, that's that's it? So Matt, can you touch on that? Yeah, I mean, so I outsource overseas. Um, I outsource in a couple different countries, um, mainly India and the Philippines. Um, and, you know, a dollar goes a long way in those countries. So, um, yes, you can you can spend a lot of money, but, I, you know, we're talking about ways to keep that under control. Um, it, and the cool thing is too, it, it, you're going to be able to, uh, it's, it's, it's day by day, right? At first. So if you're not getting that return, then you know, you can cut what's not working on if you're monitoring it, uh, and then make sure that you can take the next step, you know, whatever it is, if you, if your designer doesn't work, you don't pay that designer anymore. You go to the next one and you make sure that they're, uh, working hard towards your goal, uh, you know, in, in, all in all, for the last uh, month, uh, we paid a little over uh, $3,000 for that revenue that you saw. So in my mind, I'd gladly sacrifice you know, and pay $3,000 to get that peace of mind. But you also got to remember, that wasn't just like it was out of my pocket, right? It was I was paying off the profit that I got. So we're making money at the same time as paying people. It's not just... A three thousand dollar. I don't hand somebody a three thousand dollar check, and then it's gone. You know, it, it, I'm making money, and it's the making money is coming in. The money that I'm making, I should say, is more than what I'm spending out, and that's that ROI that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, and and here's the important thing: if if you're spending money most the, on the outsourcing it consistently, that that probably means you're making money. So if Matt were to say, I spent $3,000 on an outsourcing team last month, people may be like, wow, you spent $3,000? And then he says, well, I made $65,000. And then it's like, oh, wow, you only spent $3,000? So it's, right. you know, if you're, you're basically, if you're spending that money, it's because you're making money. It's it's like when people have to pay a lot in taxes, you know, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm getting hit in taxes. But that's because they made a lot of money, okay? It just comes with the territory. And if you're, if you're doing paid traffic and you're doing the Facebook ads and stuff, it's really not that big of a cost considering you can start slow and just pay as you grow. This is a, a good question I like, and this is going to appeal to a lot of you in here. Do you have to be a quote-unquote power seller to benefit from outsourcing, or can you kind of be just sort of a newbie or you know semi-experienced T-shirt seller? Uh, you can 100% be a brand-new person and start benefiting from outsourcing. Um, it's, it goes back to that point that we made earlier about who you want to be. It, what are you in this for? Um, are you in this to launch campaigns every day? Is that something that you want to do? Are you in this to design your own T-shirt? Absolutely not. If you're interested in this model, if you're interested in being somebody that can benefit from selling T-shirts online, and every single person on this call 
on this packed house can do that, can benefit from doing it online, take those steps right away. I mean, the first thing you got to do is get yourself a designer. Second thing you got to do is make sure that you're focused on educating yourself, uh, which means take less time away from, you know, engaging, you know, posting content to a page because those people are out there on Facebook. You can go, I'm, I'm sorry, on Odesk. You can go on Odesk and immediately get somebody who knows how to handle a uh, Facebook page. I, I guarantee you. And and that is something you don't need to do if you're if you're trying to be a, a shirt seller. So uh, it's about just making sure that you're focused in the right area. If you're brand new to this game, uh, the best thing for you actually would be being able to focus as much time as possible on learning how to do ads and find T-shirt designs. Yeah, and for those of you who are asking about you know, finding the designs, um, Matt's actually, you mentioned he trained his project manager to do that for him. And, uh, and that, that to me is pretty cool. And there's lots of ways to find the designs and, um, we, we, we don't have time to go into all that now, but, um, don't let that stop you. Okay. And lastly, this is just one I knew some people would ask. I can just address, can these strategies be used for other online businesses besides t-shirts? And I, for one can say, absolutely. Um, because basically it's the same concepts, you're just going out and you're hiring for different tasks. So your project manager may be overseeing content writers instead of designers, or instead mm -hmm. of designers, you may be hiring um, content writers, or or instead of um, instead of uh, an, a Facebook ads manager, you may uh, hire a, a Google ads manager. So just these strategies can absolutely be applied to other businesses and online businesses. Um, so that's the best part of the whole outsourcing concept. Yeah, I mean, if, to be honest with you guys, uh, I took this model, and the way that I, I knew how to do this was I took it from the corporate world, where we do not sell t-shirts. So all I did was notice what we're doing at my day job, and how we structure our business and our teams, and then I applied that to the online t-shirt business. So of course, that's two separate and completely separate different worlds, uh, and it still worked very effectively uh, in the t-shirt business. Okay, and then I have one more question. All you've sat here patiently, you've learned the process. Um, are you ready, and I'm talking to the people on this call, are you ready to build your own army of outsourcers in the next six weeks? Does that appeal to anybody on this call? To have a team do the same thing for you. <laughs> he said, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to keep you guys. Everybody got pumped up. All right. Give me my army. Give me uh, my army. I, like right. that, I thought about that. <laughs> All right, guys, well, here's what we're introducing tonight, okay? This is the, the very first time this has ever been introduced. We're introducing the Ultimate T Outsourcing Formula, and this is the blueprint to take your T-shirt business to the next level, okay? So just be patient with me for a second. Um, we got a lot of excited people, a lot of questions. Basically, what the Ultimate T Outsourcing Formula is is a six-week step-by-step -step training for building a powerful team, outsourcing your t-shirt business, increasing your free time, and scaling your profits and productivity. And somebody asked a minute ago, what does scaling mean? Well, scaling is basically taking what's already working and doing it more and doing it bigger. And that's what you can do with outsourcing because you can have a team just doubling the amount of campaigns in your output. Um, and the ultimate T outsourcing formula is limited to 200 people. And that's simply because of the concepts Matt's teaching, um, the amount of people that we can support. And a lot of people think that's just a, a scarcity number. Um, I did a, a course a few months back called Effortless T Formula, and I limited it to 200 people. And I'm happy to show you guys a screenshot of that of the group that has uh, 200 people in it. And there's there's maybe uh, two more that are admins. but So when I say 200 people, I mean 200 people. There's a good reason for that. Uh, so if you're interested, pay attention because there's a lot more than 200 people on this call. Here's what you get. Ultimate T Outsourcing Formula is six weekly trainings where we guide you through the entire outsourcing blueprint. Laid out in an easy to follow format and will allow you to easily build your team following the concepts that Matt is going to teach you in more detail. Okay, He's done the hard part. Keep that in mind. He's gone through the process. It also includes six live question and answer sessions where we will help you every step of the way as you build your team. 
Here it is broken down week by week because I know you guys want to see this exactly what you get. Week one quickly is your success roadmap. This is the step-by-step -step planning process. You'll learn which tax to outsource. You'll plan. You'll do your profit planning to determine how much money you want to make, and then you build your team from there. And you'll get your team structure ready so you can free your time and scale your business. In a second week, and this is the the one that I think appeals to a lot of people, is getting your designs done with ease. And uh, what Matt will do is he'll cover the foolproof strategy for hiring a designer for your business, how to properly utilize two designers to scale your output, and Pay close attention here because we're also going to provide done-for-you hiring templates, fill-in-the-blank job postings, and an interview cheat sheet to make sure you hire a superstar that will push out winning designs. Okay, so Matt just said a few minutes ago when he started hiring his second, third designers, the process was much easier, and that's because he got it down to a science. He knew what he was doing. So we're going to give you guys all those templates and resources so you don't have to go through that process yourself and waste a bunch of time and money. Because okay, you can waste money going through and hiring tons of people, and, and you don't need to do that. In week three, again, another one of my favorite um, things, outsourcing day-to-day -day task. Okay, we're going to cover the correct way to delegate simple tasks so you can free up your time and focus on the big money pieces of your business. This includes how to hire a page manager, a t-shirt launcher, an ad image poster. Uh, and I put in there, here's a hint, you can hire one person for all three jobs if you want. And it also includes templates and done-for-you handouts for job postings and hiring. Again, we'll make it easy for you to find and hire these people using the exact process that Matt has used to build his own team. Week four is a very crucial week. We discuss hiring an ads manager and a project manager, um, or it could be one and the same. Uh, the simple formula for hiring someone with prior ads experience is very important. How to train them, how to easily track their progress and basically how to make the project manager replace you and ensure your team won't miss a beat if someone leaves. And that is <clears throat> that is uh, was really neat when I was talking to Matt. He told me how he trained his team so that if somebody were to leave, he's got people strategically positioned on his team that could easily train somebody new. So he's never starting back from ground zero or he's never starting from stage one. And I thought that was really amazing. Um, and this right here, this this week, this step, is the key to having more free time and scaling your business without you doing more work because or without you doing the work because when you hire an ads manager or a project manager they basically replace you. Week five we go into detail on monitoring your team's progress, how to quickly and easily identify the gaps and improvements, the exact applications to monitor the work, and how to correct their mistakes um, while encouraging them and what to do if a team member isn't hitting their goals. Um, so in week five, if you get this right, if you follow this and get this right, you'll have an army working for you in a stress-free business because it teaches you how to, you know, how to be comfortable with your team working for you and not always stress about it. <clears throat> and finally, in week six, uh, the fun part, we talk about expanding and scaling. Okay, in week six, we'll go over the simple formula for knowing when it's time to expand your team including which areas of your team to expand first. A lot of people get that part wrong. How to make sure your employees stay happy and want to help you scale. Okay? And the reason I say this is fun is because you basically get to decide how big you want to grow from here. Uh, Matt just got done telling you he's going to hire more people because he continues to grow. And as long as he continues to grow and follow his process, there's nothing preventing him from growing even more. In short, we just went over the, each of the six weeks, but in short, what we're going to show you how to do in the ultimate T outsourcing formula is how to do exactly what Matt did in this 40-day stretch, okay? How to build a powerhouse team to do this process for you, okay? And I'm going to address some of the questions that you guys have, so give me a second. What else do you get? Uh, besides the, the weekly modules and the training and the done-for-you templates and all that good stuff, what this is going to do is going to save you countless hours of time and frustration by not hiring the wrong people, by not outsourcing the wrong way, or even worse, building a, a team that can easily break apart. Because the worst thing that can happen is you build a team and then overnight it just it just vanishes, okay? And that, that does happen. And what else this course will do is it'll save you tons of money by preventing you from outsourcing the wrong task, hiring or paying the wrong people, or paying people more than you should. And, and remember that because I'm going to come back to that in one second. Okay, 
all you need to do, your basically your job if you participate in this course, is follow the steps, follow the training, and implement. Okay, the hard work has already been done for you. Matt has already gone through this process, and he has the results to back it up, and he's going to basically take you through the process with him so you can do it yourself. All right, if you if this is you, if you want to do this, we are looking for the first 200. The URL is tinyurl.com forward slash tOutsource, and Matt, um, if you could p paste that um, URL in the chat box, uh, tinyurl.com forward slash T outsource. Um, and wait, wait, because there's more, because there's more. Um, one sec. Let me see if I can get this in the outs box for you guys. Give me one sec. Tinyurl.com slash T outsource. You guys should have just got that. But wait, guys, because there is uh, some more, okay? All right, we have some webinar-only bonuses because I really appreciate you guys coming on this call and staying. Um, so we have some bonuses for webinar attendees, okay? If you're one of the first 200, and this is a big one because there's a lot of people on here who said they're, they're kind of new to the whole T-shirt model, we are going to do our first call is going to be a Teespring forward slash T-shirt crash course call, okay? It's for the newbie or it could be for the experienced T-shirt seller. This bonus call will show you the system Matt developed to constantly find winning designs and build a huge t-shirt business. So Matt will walk you through step-by-step -step how to uh, build a t-shirt business as if you were doing it on your own because it's good to have that, that knowledge and that background when you go to outsource. And if you're new to this, that's, that's going to be great for you because you're going to actually learn the whole t-shirt business so that when you go to build your team, you understand, you know, what you're doing because you've you've gone through that. Um, so that's a, that's a big bonus, okay? That's you know from somebody who's done. Matt's kind of shy, but Matt's had months where he's done, um, you know, he's done six figures in t-shirt sales. Um, so learning, um, learning from him, his process that he then outsourced um, is huge. I mean, that could be a course in itself. Our second webinar-only webinar bonus is done-for-you training videos for your outsourcers, okay? To me, this is a no-brainer. This, this, this is my favorite bonus. Okay, the hard work is done for you. We are going to, to provide you training videos that you can literally hand to your outsourcers to train them and let them get to work. Okay? You don't have to train them yourself. You don't have to create videos for them. We will literally hand you the training videos that you just then give to your outsourcers and then they can learn the process from our training videos. Okay, that's huge. That's going to cut so much time um, and effort away from the process for you. Um, so keep that in mind. And also in, in our third bonus, we are also going to include done-for-you PDF handouts for your outsourcers. Outsourcers learn in different ways. So just like the training videos, these handouts are set and forget. You give them and they outline the process, they kind of help your, your outsourcers stay on task, and Matt has developed these in his own process. Um, and you just hand them to your outsourcers and you just let them get to work. Webinar only bonus number four, the pay scale cheat sheet. Okay, People were asking, you know, what does it cost? How much do I pay? This cheat sheet is going to list every position and job role that you would hire and what range you can expect to pay. So that way when you go to hire, you have this cheat sheet that tells you, okay, here's the range I should expect to be in for an A designer, or here's the range I should expect to be in for a B designer. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevent you from overpaying. It's going to prevent you from not knowing what to pay. Um, so this is going to be really helpful as you go to hire for your team. Webinar only bonus number five is a Facebook mastermind group. Okay. And you'll be able to interact with Matt and myself and other fellow marketers other, your other fellow marketers as you build your team and scale your business. Um, I can tell you from previous experience, and a lot of people in here can probably agree, um, having a group where you can you can talk to people and walk through your issues and help each other out and 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 support each other on this the, the process is, is huge. Okay, and that's um, that's something that to me is invaluable, and that's included uh, for those of you the first 200 who purchase on this webinar. 
Matt and I talked long and hard about the price, okay, and we um, we were sort of in the uh, in the in the twelve ninety seven price range because we figured, hey, if you're building a team and you're going to be doing traffic and you know, we said this is a course that you know you're you're literally building a business, um, and so that's the price that we have set to move to in the future that we we kind of leaning towards. But today's webinar special pricing is only six ninety seven. Um, and for those who want a payment plan, we do offer a two payment plan of three ninety seven. Uh, so we do have uh, the ability for those of you who need to split the payment. Um, so it's about you know half the price of what we we intend to charge in the future. Also, pay close attention because uh, this is always an attention grabber. Um, this course is backed by our one hundred percent ironclad guarantee. Okay, and this is different than, than I can, I, I, I would imagine this is different than any guarantee you've heard, so please pay attention. Okay, the first 30 days is your, your common no questions asked, okay? Um, you don't like our Facebook profile pictures, you don't like what we have to say, that's fine. Just ask for your money back, no questions asked. Okay, but there's also a second guarantee that uh, if you're a customer of mine you're you're familiar with, I've changed it a little bit, is it's called the you can't fail guarantee. And what that means is if you keep the system after the first 30 days, you are backed another 60 days. So that means you have a 90 day guarantee. If after 90 days you can show us proof that you use just one strategy or tool from this training and you can honestly tell us you didn't get your money's worth, we will send you a thousand dollars. That's a full refund plus a little bit of extra money for your time. So for those who don't understand, there's two guarantees, two ironclad guarantees. The first one is 30 days, money back, no questions asked. And then if you decide to keep it after 30 days, we're going to give you an additional 60 days. So you can go to the 90-day mark. And if you get to 90 days and you just say, hey, I didn't get any value from this, just simply show us that you applied one strategy or tool from the training and just tell us, you honestly tell us you didn't get value from it and we're happy to give you a thousand dollars, okay? And the reason we can do that is simple, okay? You can basically try the course on us, okay? You can try the course for free in a sense and we can make an offer like that because we have proof this system works which we just showed you before. Alright, so we're going to take some questions now. Uh, I, don't, I don't have access to how many of the 200 are, are gone. Um, it's only 6.97 or two payments of 3.97. Um, act now. There's a lot of people on the call. Tinyurl.com forward slash t outsource. And uh, Matt, if you're there, we can just take a few questions. Absolutely. Awesome, Rick. Thank you. Let's see who else we got in here. Um, Andrea, thank you very much. Who else do we got in here? Awesome. Some of you guys have your yourself as a uh, as a as a moniker, a nickname. Jim said, "Yeah, no, Jim. There's a two payment for three ninety seven. Awesome, guys. We will the those of you who sing, you're in. Thank you very much. Uh, we will we will we will address you by name soon. We really appreciate you. If you get in, just go ahead and post. I'm in here, and for the rest of you, just post any questions you have, and uh, we will get to those." All right, let's start out with a few questions. Katari, awesome. Thank you for, thank you very much. T, great to see you in the course, man. Um, okay, Josh says, I'm sorry. Uh, what's a what's a question here? TJ says, what's a good hourly questions. rate for a project manager? Um, I don't know if you can address that matter if it varies. Uh, it definitely varies. Um, it's, so it's going to really depend on what they're doing, right? So. Obviously, you start off really low. I probably start off higher than most people um, did, but you need to make it work for you. The most thing, the most important thing for you to consider is how many shirts are you intending to sell per week. And you do that by saying, if I sold, if I launched five shirts per week at one shirt, you know, expecting one sale, um, say it was ten dollars profit per shirt. Now you got fifty dollars in profit. Right, so you got to figure out your business model. My business probably started out as a much higher level than most people will. So you got to make it um, 
really you make the math work for you. So there's no there's no easy answer to that. I know that you're probably looking for like a this is a dollar amount. I can definitely say that it's a higher on the pay scale versus uh, the other people because he's obviously you know the you know, that the ten and above, let's put it that way. Let's easily put them in ten dollars or above. They're managing your money. You're giving them a ton of responsibility. So make sure that you take care of them. Okay, great. Um, and Robert said, "How do you do this with no money to start?" Robert, um, unfortunately, if you're doing this business and it's and you're it's paid advertising. Um, and you're hiring people, then it, it's very hard to do with no money to start. You can do it with just a little money to get started, but with no money, um, you know, it's it's tough, okay? Matt, great to have you, man. Matt said, I'm in. He said, it's time to start sleeping again. I think a lot of people feel that way. It's like I'm, it's like I'm messaging myself here. <laughs> yeah, we got another Matt. Um, yeah. Jennifer, welcome to the course. Jennifer is in. Um some people said, "How do you make sure your team doesn't steal from you? Just take your idea and run with it." Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of safeguards with that. Um, a, you're going to be the person. They're not going to see the full picture, right? So you have all these different pieces, and your ads manager is going to have this one piece. Um, you're going to be relying on the responsibility of knowing how to run a business, and that's what we're going to teach you within the course. Is that you know how to run a business? Not everybody. You got to understand that there's tons and tons of people out there, the majority of the population, it, it works for somebody else, right? And they could all go, why can't you go take what your boss does at work and go exactly. do your own thing? The reason is that it takes more than that. You're the entrepreneur. So you got all the pieces, and we're going to show you all the different puzzle pieces. You're going to have the designer on your team. You're going to have, it's not like they can just get up and walk away with it all. Also, uh, there, you know, I was selling on viral style, you know, Teespring, viral style, all the other ones, all the big ones out there um, represent, they all have safeguards for that payout screen. So they have the ability to make sure that you're, when you're paying out and you're cashing out to get your money, that there's a safeguard to make sure that that goes to you. And if there's any kind of interruption in that, uh, any kind of, you know, weird point, I can speak for Teespring and viral style. Um, Viral style actually allows you to have uh, the ability to separate the platform. You know, you got your payout screen that you can access, and then your team only can launch shirts and do those things. So the industry is built around this. We're not the only ones doing this, but we're going to teach you how to do it on a scale nobody else is doing. Awesome. And uh, someone said, I don't sell T-shirts consistently. Will this course help? Uh, my answer to that is, is if you want to be in the t-shirt world and you kind of know what you're doing and also remember the bonus call is going to outline pretty much how to you know how to do the t-shirt model um, then I'd say give it a chance you really don't have much to lose um, yeah uh, let me speak to that I have I like I talked about I have my ups and downs right and and they were all I can almost pinpoint what they were like you know I got really busy with this. Or I wanted to, you know, personally for me, I wanted to get back in the gym quite a bit uh, earlier on this year. But if I got to get into the gym for an hour or two hours, that's an hour or two hours that I can't focus on this business. And so when you out start outsourcing that, you're actually freeing up that time, but also freeing up that responsibility to make yourself consistent. Yeah. And Ricardo says, do we get full access to the system if we make the first payment of 397 Ricardo, the way this is work is this is done in weekly installments, okay? So, you know, it's not like you're going to you, you pay today and then we just overwhelm you. Um, but absolutely, you get the same access that everybody else gets. You'll have access to the trainings as they come out, and uh, doing the split play does not hinder you from anything. Uh, Richard said, does the designer come up with a T-shirt idea? Um, Richard, most of the time you, you're going to do that until you have a project manager that does it for you. Um, and uh, in the bonus call, um, we will show you some pretty unique ways to come up with shirt ideas. Uh, Matt's a pro at that. And I've, um, I'll give myself a little pat on the back. I'm pretty decent with that as well. So, um, Those asking for the PDF, um, Matt, I think he can post a link. If not, we will email it to the attendees on here. We, we can see who is here live, and we will email it to you. Um, shortly. TJ said, would this work on Sunfrog shirts? TJ, this can work on any 
t-shirt platform you want. Um, it's just I talk. It's about outsourcing the whole t-shirt concept. Um, so it, it it's kind of universal. Yeah, I mean a lot of the what we'll learn in here. Um, I plan on learning uh, using the exact same concept to scale other ventures that I'm going to be going into now that I have all this free time. So um, it's really about you know it, it is about selling t-shirts, but that's the that's the vehicle we'll be drive you know be riding in. Uh, but the the concepts and the team building and everything like that, you can apply this anywhere you want to. I see a lot of people saying, you know, I do this for a living. Can I use this here? I'm just going to be really showing you at the end of the day how to build an effective team uh, that is based on a goal in the soft in the training here. It's going to be t-shirts. So you know, you take it and learn it, and then apply it elsewhere, just like anything in life. Yeah, Steve, and welcome to the course. Uh, Josh said you mentioned investing about three thousand dollars for your team. Did that include your Facebook ad expense? Um, no, that did not include the Facebook ad expense. Um, I'm, Mac would probably have to go back and calculate that, but um, you know, I can tell you that the return on investment in the T-shirt world is fairly high. So yeah, I think I think the ad spend was um, thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars, and um, again, this is cumulative, right? I'm getting paid, spending more money, getting paid, spending more money. Of course, I came from a position where I had capital to use, um, but at the same time, I got to tell you, when we were starting off, the profit was smaller. Now we're getting to a point where it's consistently higher. So yeah. uh, we're always going to be going for the moon here. But yeah, of course, any business starts off. I mean, hell. What what kind of business go out there in the real world? What kind of business can you go into and say we were in the black from the first week? You know, like a lot of people aren't even profitable after you know a couple of years into it. So um, this is definitely a a, a great business, um, and it's even better if you can uh, if you can do it where you're not exactly in it every day. So yeah, and all the. For those asking, all the trainings will be recorded, guys. We have some some really exciting stuff. I mean, just the templates and the training videos in themselves. I mean, think about that. You're literally going to get the ability to take training videos and hand them to outsourcers. Okay, that's such a time-consuming piece of this puzzle that's going to be done for you. Um, everything will be recorded. You have you'll get access. Um, to all the bonuses, all the templates, all the done-for-you resources, all the fill-in-the-blanks, all the interview questions, everything you need to build your team. And on top of that, we're going to teach you the whole t-shirt model. I like, I like this question. I'll address it. Somebody said, um, if you were truly super confident in your student's success, wouldn't you be worried about losing market share? Uh, i got to tell you, uh, Jeremy, how many, how many people do you think are selling t-shirts online? Uh, a couple, mm -hmm. Several thousands. You there's know, a lot so. on this webinar. Um, I, yeah. I would say there's, there's, yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely several, several thousand. And so now we're talking about several, several thousand people doing exactly what I and Jeremy do. And then, on top of that, you got the entire e-commerce industry and the real, you know, the 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 shirt selling business and everything like that. And there's still been plenty of people in order to that are still making plenty of money online, six figures online. Uh, and even six figures a month, you know, we're a small piece of it. There's 300 million people here in the United States, um, and 200 million of them or so are 18 and above. And so there's tons and tons of people. There's plenty of uh, ocean out there for everybody. Yeah, and and I, I appreciate the question. I mean, I think it's a good question, but um, it does not. Um, I mean. This has been going on for years now, and there has not really been a dent put in the industry. So, um, if anything, I mean, I think people are doing bigger numbers now. Um, and you know, the t-shirt, the t-shirt model is giving the most success to people that are trying to start an online business or make money online. Really, in the last 24 months, there's been nothing that can kind of that really that can compare to it. Yeah, and, and, the, and the the greatest thing about selling on Facebook, like we'll show you, is that you can get so specific to somebody, you know, you might hit somebody that bought a, a, a shirt off Teespring earlier in that week or even in the same day because you hit them with, I like coffee and my Rottweiler. And we'll show you how to do stuff like that. And they, people buy shirts like that all the time. And that's the best part is that you can get so specific with, the, with Facebook that you can 
you can touch people on another level where they don't, you know, nobody's ever hit them there before, and and that really spurs that extra incentive and that that break that pattern break for them to want to impulse buy a T-shirt offline. Yeah, and let's see. We'll take uh, we'll take just a few more questions, guys. Um. All right, uh, Matt. If there's any you want to address, um, we're getting kind of we're past the 9:30 mark here, so we're gonna wrap up soon. Um, thank yeah, you to all who purchased. Do you make your designers sign a contract that they will what they design is your intellectual property? Um. You know, Odesk gives you the right. You don't necessarily have to sign a contract in that sense, but Odesk gives you the right to. Um, and I'm I'm sure the other platforms do as well. I can terminate a contract at any point in time, and and that's a little different than an average day to day job where you can't necessarily do that. But you know, I go out there and I'm in like when we walk your hand your your designers through uh, when you're hand holding them and making sure they're trained properly and know what they do um, that's one of the criteria we say on the forefront um, and we say basically if you're not hitting if you're not giving me something that's unique uh, if you copy somebody you have the risk of termination um, and people respond to that and they, they don't want to just go ahead and put themselves at risk on a day-to-day -day basis to get themselves uh, let go so, Jim said, "Do you will you cover the, your, the outsourcing, just outsourcing, or the how tos like placing Facebook ads?" Again, Jim, um, the the course is building a, a team to run your your campaigns for you, but we're also going to do the bonus training, um, which is going to be about just the T-shirt model in general, because we do feel a lot of people want to learn, you know, the basics first, um, or they want a refresher. For those asking if the webinar will will have a replay, yes, we will send a replay out. Jeff said, "Oh, Jeff, there's no way. There's only two payments. There's the full pay, and there's the two pay." Okay. Uh, Nina said, "How can I ensure my transaction went through?" Nina, you would have got an email uh, sent to you with some details. Um, so that will be your confirmation. If not, um, you can reach out to to me. Just reply to one of the emails if you have an issue, and I'll get a support person on it. Awesome. Thank you, Jim. We still got a lot of people on here. Did you guys have a great time tonight? Did you learn a lot? Yeah, as Maybe long as you guys, you guys got value regardless as if you take the offer or not, awesome. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Richard, Albi, Katari, Ricardo. Thank you. Hey, Ricardo, uh, he, he brought up a good question. How do they know they won't rip, her off, rip me off? I'm not sure exactly uh, who you're referring to there, but the great thing is that when you use a third party like uh, Odesk, the people like you, know, the team that you're building. When you use a third party like Odesk, Odesk is specifically there and, and is only in business to make sure that you are 100% happy because you are the the person providing the money. They get a little bit of percentage, uh, of course, but that is so worthwhile. I think they get like 10% on top. That is so worthwhile because you get to do that monitoring. They provide the people for you, uh, and, and and so on and so forth. So um, there's safeguards in place. Uh, to make sure that you are, you know, only paying if you're 100% happy, and we we'll, we can discuss that on the inside. Yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing is, guys, is the industry is built around doing outsourcing. There's just nobody really, really taking advantage of it right now, um, and we want to teach you how to do that. Um. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ricardo. Uh, guys, this is this, people are saying how long this is gonna last. It's either gonna last if we sell the 200, or uh, probably for the next 48 to 72 hours, because we're gonna be getting started um, fairly soon. So for those who have bought, you've got an email with some dates and stuff. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and um, and wrap up. Uh, unless anybody has specific questions about the course, 
uh, or anything like that. And if Matt wants to chime anything in, but uh, beyond that, um, I think we've covered a lot of the stuff we needed to. Yeah, somebody pointed out that I, that I'm so disappointed in the Rams. Uh, how disappointed am I in the Rams? That's very funny. Actually, they're a pretty darn good team this year. All right. First, the first training for those asking will be uh, in about uh, ten days. So you'll get the details when you buy. Yeah, there's a uh, a nice little holiday break next week. That's that's <laughs> the reason. Yeah, yeah, we have to uh, plan things around. Um, the busy stuff. All right, and let me see here. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Matt, do you have anything you want to add before we sign off? No, I, I just hope everybody enjoyed the call. They learned something, uh, and I hope to see you in the members area. All right, guys, thank you all very much, and we will mail out a replay to those of you. Um, that need it, and uh, thanks again. We're signing off. Thank you, guys.